Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we're going to focus on this troubleshooting ticket. And the issue in this troubleshooting ticket is that Ankush is able to ping FTP2 server, but not able to ping FTP1 server. So Ankush is over here, his IP, his PC's IP is 10.1.1.10. He's able to ping FTP server 2. So let's check first of all. I'm going to command prompt. Let's check off first of all the IP address for Ankush. It is correct that is 10.1.1.10. So we're able to ping FTP server 2. FTP server 2 IP is 10.1.1.200, but is not able to ping FTP server 1. So let me ping it 10.1.1.100. Yeah, so this is the problem statement. So the server which is connected to the same switch because Angush is connected to the switch 4 and FTP server is connected to the switch 4. So it's connected to the same switch, that switch he is able to ping from his PC but not the switch, not the server which is connected to the other switch that is switch 3 over here. You can also see there is a mumble light over here. Um, the packet tracer you can see clearly. So there is some problem. Uh, we need to identify it. So let's go and check on switch 4. What is the problem? Let's check out the status of this interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 which is getting connected to the switch 3. Let's go and check over here. Uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Let's maximize it. So you can see the interface is up. That is fine. That the interface is up connected. That is fine. Let's check on switch 3 as well. Uh, for switch 3, it will be fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. So to show interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. You can see guys, uh, the interface for this is also up. But still, we are not able to it. Let's check whether we are able to learn anything on that port or not. So my address table, if you see, you can see we are not able to learn anything on that port. Let's check over here also. Show fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Here we can learn something. We are able to learn something over here, but here on the fast Ethernet 0 test, we are not able to learn anything on switch 3. So we need to troubleshoot it. Now, uh, whenever you face such kind of issues, both the interfaces are up. But still, but still you can say, still here you can see uh, the traffic is not moving from this port to this port basically that is the reason why we are not able to ping we, again we can check over this also whether this interface is up uh, we'll go into the switch and we'll check from switch 3 whether this interface is up so we need to do, do certain sort of uh, troubleshooting in this what i'll do is i'll check on switch 3 certain things uh, show spanning tree a lot of options over here uh, you know, inconsistence like. So you can see over here that this particular port that it is in the root inconsistent. Okay, so that is the reason why uh, that port is showing me in the umber color. So guys, whenever you go on to such kind of uh, troubleshooting, the port is showing me up. The status is up, up. The layer one is up. The layer two is up. You can see over here like. But still, you can see here is up and up connected. Okay, but it is in a root inconsistent. So such kind of things you will learn via an experience. That what kind of thing? What why? What what is stopping it from uh, learning anything? So it is inconsistent port, uh, root inconsistent port. So root on inconsistent port means. It is gone into inconsistent state because of root guard. You know, this is how you can read that output. So it is gone because of the root guard. Now, in this scenario, if you see, uh, 
who is the root root breach or in this scenario if you check on switch 3 you can find out easily who is the root breach show spanning tree if i give this command you'll find the root breach is uh, the one which is getting connected on the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 on the switch that is switch 1 switch 1 is a root breach okay and switch 1 is a root breach and something has happened that a superior bpdu switch 3 has received from switch 4 on port number fast ethernet 0 slash 3 that is the reason why that port is in the inconsistent mode so let me check what is configured for this particular interface i'll give you show run if you see on this particular interface you can see here that i've configured spanning tree guard root means i've enabled the root guard i cannot remove this from here because if i remove it from here and if i receive the superior uh, ppdu from a switch 4 then switch 4 will become root bridge but i don't want that i want that switch 1 should be the root bridge so i can't remove this this is a very important security feature which i have configured so i don't want to remove that uh, rather than that i'll check why this particular switch is sending me a superior bpd let me check if we go into show spanning tree this bridge is the root it has claimed it as a root run if i give this command So you can see the priority is configured as zero. So if it is zero, it will claim it as a root bridge. Okay, so it is claiming it as a root bridge because the priority has set it as zero, which I should not do. So it may be an old switch. If you would connect an old switch, connect to this network, and its priority is zero. So you know at that time, you know that old switch which you are connecting to your setup, new setup that old switch may become a root bridge so to avoid such kind of stuff you use root guard so what i'll do quickly is i'll remove that stuff now i'll see that the root bridge is not this now the root bridge is you're getting the BPDUs from the root breach on fast ethernet 0 slash 1. That is good. Now I need to check what happens so here. Need to check whether that port is gone from the inconsistency. Yes, it is gone from the inconsistent. This port is also become green now. Now I'll go on the Ankush PC and I'll now ping the server FTP server 2. I think so. Yeah, it is 2 or 1. Uh, one it is able to ping which was we were earlier not able to ping but now we are able to ping it so uh, this is how you know how we can practice a lot of stuff using cisco packet tracer and a lot of stuff in stp as well so i just want to demonstrate this particular example in this video i'll catch up in the next troubleshooting video till then i'll stop this video here i'll catch up in the next video as i told but before ending up this video, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel on my tech stuff. If you really like my videos, please do share my videos, like my videos. And I'll catch up in the next video. Till then, bye, take care and have a nice day.